In this video, I'll be acting as our IT admin when I receive a phone call from our CEO, Jason Taylor. Now, Mr. Taylor is asking to know what exactly is going on. We could see he received this email. It's malicious and recommended not to open. Using Smart Event, I need to find out if Mr. Taylor is under attack. I'll go ahead and search the subject of the email. I can see it was indeed prevented. I can see our threat emulation protected the malicious attack. And I can see that it behaves like a known malware. I can even see that the PDF was emulated and all of the target details. But I want to understand if our CEO, Mr. Taylor, is truly under attack. Let's see what comes up. Okay, I can see that we have a few logs for him. Looks like he was under attack. And I can see here actually a DLP user check was applied. Looks like he was trying to buy something, listed his credit card details, and got this message. It's pending his response. And I can also see that the rest of the attacks were indeed prevented. prevented. It's best to call Mr. Taylor and let him know that everything is okay. Later that day, our CIO read about the shell shock attack and how devastating it was. He wants answers quickly and wants to know if we are truly under attack and wants a full threat prevention report. First, I need to know if there's a CVE number, common vulnerability. I'll go ahead and open Google and search for this shell shock CVE. Looks like I found the CVE. I'll go ahead and copy it into the free text search. Wow, quite a few logs. Looks like our IPS protections are handling business and I can see everything is in prevent, exactly what we want. This is all good news, but I remember he said he wanted a threat prevention report. So let's go ahead and get it ready. I'm going to navigate to reports and find the threat prevention report. Here it is. So I just want to check that the CVE we found on Shellshock is actually here. I'll use the free text search again. Looks like nothing is found, so I'm going to go ahead and include IPS into the threat prevention report. I'm going to go to our options, click the report filter, and I'll go ahead and add IPS. Okay, great. IPS has been included into this report. So I'll go ahead and export it. And I actually like this report, so I'll go ahead and schedule it to happen and occur weekly. I click my actions and schedule. I want it weekly, on a Monday, Now what I really want to show you is how Smart Event incorporates unified views. Here you can see I have a view that I favorited. Checkpoint lets you prevent cyber attacks and lets you monitor the attack service from suspicious events and lets you act upon it with security compliance. You can even do it all within the same view. This view I created, the left side is the compliance and the right side is the events, so you can proactively handle Typical to checkpoint fashion, everything is drill downable. If I want to, I can go ahead and investigate what was the prevented email. Here I can see our Jason Taylor. I can be taken directly to the logs 
and find out the specific details relevant to that best practice. If I want, I can use the free text search and take the best practice number and simply open compliance and find it. Here I can see the relevant best practice, and I can choose to schedule it as I please. Let's take a look at some other views that I've actually created. I can simply drill down and be taken to all of the log details. Here's another compliance view. That concludes our video.